All right, welcome back to another session of Pellet Tech 101. Today we're gonna to be going through a stove door rope gasket change. Uh, so this is particular door is off of the St. Croix Prescott. Um, whether we're looking at uh, wood stoves, pellet stoves, corn stoves, coal stoves, you know, we'll generally either see a cast iron door or we'll see a steel door. And we'll generally see a rope gasket that's going around the door that's making that tight seal to the stove body itself. Over time, this gasket can get worn, it can get frayed, it can get compressed down, not making a tight seal all the way around to the stove body, which can cause some safety issues and definitely can cause a lack of combustion efficiency in the unit. So today we're just going to be going through how we pull out this rope gasket, uh, what we're going to do to kind of prep the door to get it ready for the replacement gasket that goes in, and just kind of best practices overall. I have this door pulled right off of the stove, as you see. Most stove doors will have pins, as you see here, that are essentially sliding into the holders on the stove body. So most stove doors we can open up and we can gently wiggle back and forth as we lift upwards and that door is going to come right off of the body of the stove. Uh, again, there's a lot of different makes and models and manufacturers out there. Uh, so give a close look at what you have and if you need tips on how to actually remove the door from the stove, just leave us a comment in the video below. But overall, it is much easier working with the door off of the stove than it is on the stove. Uh, as we get our, our area set where we're going to replace the gasket, you can lay down drop cloths. You know, we may make a little bit of a mess here, uh, so it's important that uh, we're prepared for that and we want easy cleanup when we're all said and done. Now, some of the tools that I have here uh, as we get going, I obviously have our uh, replacement gasket kit. Again, depending on the make, the model, the manufacturer, the year, there's a lot of variances in the diameter and the length of the rope gasket that we need for our stove. So, uh, we offer just about every kind of gasket size that's out there. Uh, and if there's any question on what kind of gasket your particular stove needs, uh, just leave us a comment in the video here. We're always happy to help. Uh, and you can always feel free to check out the website. We do have the majority of them listed up on the website and a lot of them packaged up in just these nice little kits right here uh, with a small tube of high temperature sealant. Now I also have an additional tube of high temperature silicone right here just in case we need that. I have a couple different screwdrivers. I have kind of a wide flathead screwdriver. Uh, I have a tiny flathead screwdriver. I have a, uh, a wire, a coarse wire bristle brush right here. I do know that once the gas gets pulled out, one of the most important things is we want to remove any of that old adhesive or that old silicone that was holding the gasket in place. And in some cases, it's a, a gasket cement, so it'll come out in chips or in pieces. But it's really important that we remove that uh, so that the new gasket can adhere to the, uh, to the new silicone that we're placing in. So it's very important that we do our, our best as we can to clean that out. Again, I'm using some very basic tools here. Uh, I do know some customers that'll get in there with a Dremel tool and a wire brush. So I know that's been a, a, a thing that I've heard. I also know that I've heard some people talk about some different uh, solvents and things that can be used uh, to kind of dissolve that silicone and make it easier to remove the old adhesive before they lay in the new gasket. As of today, we're going to do it the old school way with our screwdrivers and a coarse wire brush um, and kind of go from there. So we're going to get started here just by pulling out the old door gasket. And so essentially, I'm just going to find the two ends where the two ends have kind of butted up together, which is right here. And so as I find that, I'm just using a little bit of force and you're going to find some of them are really easy and come right out. And some of them require a little bit more, more pull to get it out of these grooves. But the majority of rope gaskets on just about every stove and fireplace door are going to sit inside of a preformed groove that's in the door. So now that the old gasket's out, we're just gonna set that to the side. And again, as you can see, we have a, uh, you know, we have a decent layer of, uh, of high temperature silicone adhesive that was in there. And that is what we want to remove. So I'm gonna go ahead and go through this process. Like I said, I'm gonna use my uh, scraper tools. I'll probably speed forward through this process, but there's a number of ways to get this out. It's just the important thing is we wanna get as much of this out as possible uh, before we again apply the new sealant and the new uh, replacement gasket that's in there. So we'll go ahead and we'll get started. And I'm just gonna start with my screwdrivers. And any time that I'm using a, a screwdriver or something like this, I want to keep it, I want to keep my hands out of the way of, of what I'm scraping. Again, sometimes uh, we can slip and the last thing that we want to do is, uh, you know, have a, a safety issue. So... Uh
All right, now that we have these door grooves cleaned out pretty well, we're gonna get ready to lay in the new sealant or the new uh, high temperature silicone in here. There's also gasket cement that's out there. Uh, I have a tendency to favor a high temperature silicone as it stays more pliable uh, than, a, uh, than a gasket cement does, uh, but that's kind of a personal preference right here. But now that we have it cleaned all the way around, let's go ahead and let's apply a nice bead of our adhesive all the way around the door. And again, uh, not looking for perfection here, but just a nice, continuous, solid bead all the way around. If you used any kind of uh, chemical or cleaner in the groove of the stove to remove some of that old adhesive, make sure that you dry it really well uh, before applying any of this uh, new adhesive into the groove. We want to make sure that it stays there and that it's able to adhere to the metal or the cast iron as well as the fiberglass rope gasket. And again, my groove isn't perfect. There's still a couple little areas where there's a couple little stubborn pieces of silicone that's stuck in there, but for the most part, we've got a lot of, of surface space for the new adhesive, uh, which is ideally what we're looking for. That little guy right out of the corner there. That's pretty good. We have a nice bead at this point. I'm just kind of checking, filling in any areas where I feel they may be lacking a little bit. All right. Just a little bit more right there. But yeah, just a nice little, a nice little bead all the way through the channel. Next, I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to grab my new gasket. And again, depending on the make and the model, there are many different variances, not only in the diameter of this rope gasket, but also in the density. So like this one right here is a, uh, about a medium firm density, but you will see some stoves that require like a, uh, a soft weave or a tight weave. So it's important to make note. Um, you can again check your owner's manual, uh, do some research online, drop a comment in the video right here. We're happy to help guide you to the correct replacement gasket that you need. Now, as I get this started, I usually like to start this, you know, at a, at a middle point. You know, whether it's on the side of the door or the, the bottom or the top, I usually like to start it kind of at a middle point where those two ends are going to kind of butt together. Now, as I'm laying this in there, I am not stretching the gasket and I'm not bunching this gasket. I'm essentially just laying it in there and I'm using my other hand just to kind of work it into the groove a little bit. Again, it's important that we're not stretching or bunching during this process. Again, it's just a nice little back and forth kind of wiggle move here as I get that set in that groove. And we'll just follow it right around the corner here. Same way, and I'm not letting it hang where it's putting stress or pressure on the gasket that I put in. I'm holding it up a little bit. Again, just allowing it to lay in as I work it back and forth with my fingers into that groove. And again, like I said, absolutely doesn't, doesn't hurt whatsoever to have hand protection here and to have uh, a mask or some kind of respirator uh, in place for any particles that may be in the air while we're doing this. Just like that, we'll round that last corner. Good, just like that. We get it right up until the edge. And so at this point, what I'm going to do is I'm going to grab a scissors. I want a nice, sharp scissors. If I'm using a razor blade here, I'm going to have a tendency to create a lot of fray. 
So again, I want a nice sharp scissors. I want to make a nice cut right here. And then again, we're going to go ahead and we are just going to kind of mend those two butt ends with that small piece of high temperature foil tape. So I'll be back in a second as we finish up this new door gasket. All right, we've got the scissors right here. So again, I am just going to cut. I do want to make sure that I get it right at where that other butt end is. I don't want a gap or I don't want a space in there. And I also don't want this tail end to overlap this end. So again, we want to make sure that we take our time here and cut this appropriately. That we can discard any of that extra gasket. And I'm basically going to take this end and I'm going to wiggle it. So it butts up right against that other one, just like that. Now that we have it in place there, some folks will literally leave it like that. I always say that, you know, we want to make sure that we don't have any fraying that goes on here. So there's different products. There's gasket glue and some people will use a little bit of additional sealant right here and let that set up, which is fine. Uh, one of my favorite things to use just because it's the easiest is this high temperature foil tape. I uh, can get this just about anywhere, but what we're essentially going to do is we are going to wrap it right here. And so we're going to adhere that right to the cast iron door here and right over here. I'm just going to tuck in some of those little frays. A bit of a peel off backing there on that. I'm going to get it right down below that glass clip. Fold it right over those two butt ends, just like that. And this tape is designed to withstand high, high heat, high temperatures. So again, I just think that this is a great way to ensure that we don't have any frays where those butt ends are. However, if we don't have foil tape, again, we can use some gasket glue. We can use a little bit of sealant over the top like that. Um, you know, whatever works to ensure that we don't have those ends coming apart and fraying. Uh, but foil tape is very handy uh, if you can have access to that. At this point, now that our gasket is laid, I am going to want to let this set up for a minimum of an hour before I put it on the stove. I highly recommend moving it more towards that 24 hour mark. Really allow this to set up before we're closing this on the door of the stove. Obviously with a new gasket, once we put this on the unit, it's going to be tight, you know, especially for the first few fires. So be aware that even even when you've made sure that you have the right diameter gasket uh, that's been replaced in the groove right here, when you put this back on the stove, it's going to be quite tight as you initially close that, uh, especially your first few fires. After our, free, our first few fires, you know, it'll kind of uh, get, in its, uh, get in its groove for proper seal. But it is going to be tight as we initially start off, which is very normal right here. But that as a whole is the replacement of a... Uh, of a door gasket, whether we have a fireplace or a stove, no matter the fuel that we're burning, uh, that is the replacement of it. Hopefully this video was helpful for you. If you have any questions, comments, concerns, need assistance with replacement, whatever the case might be, just leave a comment in the video below here. We're always happy to help and we'll see you again on the next session of Pellet Tech 101.